What's up guys, welcome back to Command Point where today we're talking all about close combat in the new edition of Kill Team. So in this Warhammer Community article titled Close Combat is a Deadly Dance of Death, uh, they talk about exactly what I said they would talk about close combat. Uh, and they also talk a little bit about movement and the new like measurement gauges and the shapes and stuff. But yeah, a lot of people are confused about these new like shapes for measurements and stuff like that. We are going to be having our own video explaining all that stuff coming out very soon. So if you want to learn about that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So in this article, they start off with saying that rather than the attacker taking their shots and trying to slip past their target's armor, both fighters roll their melee attacks simultaneously. Okay, so that's interesting. Starting with the attacker, the combatants then alternate choosing whether they want to use a successful hit to inflict damage or parry one of their opponent's hits. So this is very interesting. Um, I don't think we've, I mean, I can't think of a game that I've played where it's like this, but it sounds cool. It sounds a lot more engaging. Um, for both players in melee combat because you're literally rolling your dice at the, at the same time, right? Um, so your defense dice have no Don't count for anything in close combat your save characteristic counts for nothing in close combat just comes down to your Melee your models melee prowess basically how many dice they get to roll in melee combat We got a picture of some gray knights and some demons. That's cool. Uh, so here they're gonna sh they show off some uh, some characteristics for the weapons so we got it just says power weapon which is interesting that it's not labeled as like power sword um so here it says four attacks three of ballistic skill uh damage four and six so on crits you're going to be doing six damage and then sr which i assume stands for special rule it says lethal five up and then above here in the text it says take the aforementioned power sword for instance whose lethal five up rule means you're scoring critical hits twice the normal rate of the humble bayonet so on a five or six you're going to be critting inflicting six damage with this weapon uh the bayonet they show three attacks uh hitting on fours inflicting two or three damage so at the end of the article they're talking about the way movement works in the combat phase well i say combat phase but there's not phases anymore so just completely ignore that <laughs> They say we've had a few questions about how movement works in the new edition. Effectively, it has evolved. Uh, distances are now measured using cleverly designed gauges, which are broken down into four increments, one inches, two inches, three inches, and six inches, each of which corresponds to a different shape. Units move in increments of two inches, denoted by the circle, and most have either two or three circles. And so here they have a diagram showing a model jumping over a barricade and that takes away one of those circles. So this model can only move four inches horizontally. And the reason that they're doing this is because uh, it says the new system makes navigating terrain much easier. The cost to climb a ladder or vault a barricade is usually a circle. So most troops can move four inches in total if they also cleared an obstacle during their turn. Using the nifty gauge, it speeds everything up massively, and there's no need for fiddly measuring of exact vertical distances. So that's like, it, it's a quality of life feature. So no longer are you measuring how tall is this ladder? Um, if it's five inches, okay, that's like the entire movement for a Terminator. Uh, and this, whether you're, it, it seems like any vertical distance, because they're talking about climbing ladders and stuff. So it's going to be just a circle to like climb and to like climb a ladder. So th this is. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, you know, Terminators are going to be able to scale ladders and not have to pay a massive points cost uh, in terms of the, at, le at least in terms of their movement. They're not going to have to spend their entire movement just climbing up the ladder um, and not being able to really do anything else. You, you get what I mean. And then, of course, it says distances in Kill Team are ultimately still measured in inches, so you're very welcome to stick with your trusty tape measure if you prefer. So everyone out there who's freaking out about these gauges, are they proprietary? What's going on here? The measurements are still in inches. You can still use your tape measure. You don't have to. If you're not going to pick up the starter box, you're not going to have to go and buy the measuring tool separately or anything like that. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um, and honestly, like, I think I'm going to be using, the, I, I am getting the box, so I am going to be using that measurement gauge because when you think about it, so far they've shown nothing in this game that has a, like, range or measurement of over six inches, right? You can play this entire game without having to use a measuring tape. So that means I'm not having to literally, you know, open up the measurement tape to do, you know, like, every single time I have to measure something. So this is just a, it's a, it's a quality of life thing. 
designed to help speed up the game in a clever way. So I hope I hope that clears it up a little bit. We'll be doing a separate video about it too. At the end of the article, they say come back next week where they are still going to be talking about stuff uh, about Kill Team. They're still going to be talking about Kill Team. And then it says, in fact, speaking of all this close combat, it feels like our guardsmen from Krieg are missing something important. Hmm, what could it be? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the support that we've been getting this week. Special thank you to our patrons for always backing us up, and I hope to see you all again tomorrow.